Welcome back to the channel guys, episode 40 of the Youth Academy Challenge and today it's a different type of video, we've got two games, the first one is the Coppa Italia final against Inter Milan and the second one is to see if we can qualify for the Champions League, let's do it. Since the last video then, this is the situation, so we had Bologna the first game after the intake, we won that 3-0, we drew with Roma 3-3. Um, yeah, there was they scored the late equaliser again. Christian Sanna, he's uh, he's been a bane of our existence for a couple of seasons now. He's really really good. He's thirty one, but he's really really good. And Roma, he carries Roma basically. But he scored the um, the ninety second minute equaliser, which is really annoying. Then we drew to Monza one one. Really really frustrating game. They got a guy sent off and then went one 0 up. And I was like, oh okay then. It was a mistake by my goalkeeper, which again highlights the need for a goalkeeper. And then we played AC Milan in the second leg and we drew 1-1, getting through to the final, which is going to be our first game on today's video. Then we beat Medina 4-1, pretty easy game that one. And then we beat Udinese 3-2. That wasn't easy, but we did go 3-1 up and then they scored late on. And then we beat Inter Milan, the team we're about to play, 3-0 in Serie A. We was at home, but we beat them 3-0. My goalkeeper this game was really good. If I show you the, uh, the stats real quick, they actually had more XG than me. But Fernando being Fernando, scored two goals and Bichetti also chimed in with one as well. We had 63% possession, well, which is really, really nice. Um, yeah, that was a really good result. Now, today, we've got the Coppa Italia final down here. But also, if I show you guys the league table, we are fifth, level on points with AC Milan in fourth. And we could potentially overtake into Milan. Um, I mean, we could potentially take, overtake Napoli, but they're not going to lose both games, are they? Um, so we want, we're aiming for the top four again. It'd be a bit of a shame if we don't get top four. I'm not sure if Italy gets a, a fifth Champions League spot. I'm not sure if it's Spain and England this year. I don't know. Um, Inter Milan are in the Champions League final, so maybe they've done quite well for us. Fernando this year as well has got 25 league goals. He's going to get better and better. He's also getting players around him that are better and better, which means he's going to get more goals because they're going to be able to create more for him. The first game of today's video is going to be against Inter Milan right now. So let's have a look at the team then. So this is the team. We've got Bianco in goal, because that's all we've got really. We've got Gondo at right back. We've got Sadini and Renai and Rocky at left back. Conte next to Troiani, Vangione, Leone and Buschetti behind Fernando on the bench. Obviously, we've got everyone else. Rocky, the centre midfielder, and Pucci are injured, so they can't play. So our bench is looking a little bit thin, especially in the attacking areas. We've really got Alex Gisti and Francisco Fino in the attack to bring on, which isn't great, but it's how it is. We are lacking a little bit in attacking options, so this next intake does need to be have a good attacker as well as a good goalkeeper. The team talk's done, the lineups are in, and this is the Coppa Italia final. Inter Milan versus Livorno. Looks like the first highlight is theirs from this corner. Nope, it's not. Okay, <laughs> interesting. So the first thing I've noticed as well, that they're 4 2 3 one but they're playing DMs instead. And their best player, Joe Wills, is slightly tired. So I'm hoping... He gets subbed off at some point during this game. That would be quite nice, but let's see what goes on. I don't know how good their back line is. I know their goalkeeper's quite good, but we'll, we'll see. Um, I've changed tactics slightly. I've tweaked a little bit this year, so we're not playing out of defence anymore. Looks like we are there, but we're not really. It's not the same. We're not playing short passes in defence anymore. We used to concede a few goals with that. Um, yeah, here he is, Wills. He's so good. There we go, 1-0 down in the first seven minutes. These guys are very, very good. Obviously, we beat them last game 3-0. I'm not expecting to win this, like I said. Really, really tough. I don't know who that guy is. Lee. He's obviously Portuguese. Um, I mean, he's very good. Worth 70 million, as you'd expect from Inter Milan, right? First shot on target is a goal. Not great. My uh, my centre-back's got an injury. It's really not good. He's anxious as well. Interesting. Okay. We've had a shot. Can Fernando do something for us? It's usually Fernando that buries us out. <laughs> Go on, Rocky. Get down that wing. There he is. Conte to Vangione. Yes! Vangione! 20th goal of the season from Vangione. He's having a monstrous season, by the way. Like I said, because we changed Fernando's role to centre... Complete forward, sorry. not Well, I suppose CF, yeah. Centre forward, complete forward, whatever you want to call it. Headed down by Conte, the big man. Vangione passes over. 1-1. One, one. Unbelievable. Our first shot on target as well. We take that, don't we? Let's give them some encouragement. They're playing with a deep line forward up front. He's a very good player as well, he's Malik. Again, I'm hoping Wills gets taken off at some point. And uh, my centre-back being injured, my best centre-back having an injury, isn't great. But he looks like he's recovering slightly, so we'll leave him there. Next highlight starts up. I don't know who this guy is. Svik. 
having a look at it. I'm guessing it's Polish with that name. Hassan to Canales. To, to Wills, the best player. There he is. Put someone through on goal. He is absolutely disgusting, this Wills. He's just one of the best players on the game, if not uh, if not the best. So, nervous Sadini. I don't like that, mate. Um, he's not the greatest, is Sadini. He's okay. He's just a pure defender, isn't he? Composure costs him sometimes a little bit. He's not that quick. Yeah, you can see why he's struggling a little bit, can't you? Okay, 1-1, one, one, Copper Italia final. What are we going to say? I think we're going to say no pressure. That seems to have worked. We're going to say, well done to you. We're going to say to you, it wasn't that bad. Pressure lifted, seems relaxing. We should have felt the pressure lifted. Yeah, we'll keep it at that then. I'm wondering whether to bring Zanotti on. Or Sardini. Because he's a little bit more experienced. I feel like that's a good idea. And I'll change him there because he's left footed and he's motivated. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring Zanotti on. I'm gonna do it. Makes sense. I just don't want him being nervous and anxious at the back when they've got these attacking players. It's just like for example, look at Ayala at left wing for them. He's worth 150 million and he's only 19. He's a wonder kid. He's absolutely insane. Like I said, I'm just gonna show you their strikers as well. So Malik here, Czech Republic, worth 150 million, 20 off the ball, 19 vision elite striker just absolutely world class and then obviously the big one wills this guy here elite striker 28 74 caps for england 43 goals worth 200 million 19 off the ball absolutely rapid 6-2 good in the air perfect basically highland the english highland is what i'd call him to be totally honest and uh, and yeah he's been shoved out to the right wing which is probably a good thing for us but yeah what a what a player he is he came through at fulham Went to Wolves and then into Milan. What a signing he's been. 91 million, absolute bargain. Let's go then in the second half. I just thought I'd show you guys what we're, what we're up against here. It's really, really tough. <laughs> I've got to try and come up with ways to try and beat these guys uh, and these teams and keep them quiet. It's really difficult. So last night as well on stream on Twitch, um, the link is down below you now. We were, we're playing a German save and we took over the French team, Amiens. Uh, they've never won a trophy. That's why we took over them. And we won the Champions League last night. Only two seasons being there. Really unexpected, and I was up against uh, Man City in the final, Haaland, and we had to come up against um, trying to stop them as well, which we did really well. So I'm trying to sort of implement some of those things as well into this game to try and beat these teams, because we are obviously playing at a disadvantage, and my team obviously on that game was a disadvantage as well. We've got a good team. We've got a better team than we do here, um, but still not as good as Man City. Go on, Fangioni, please! Yes! Come on! <laughs> Two on! What a finish! <laughs> Wow. The interception there. Who was that? Was that Co it wasn't Conte, was it? Was it? Oh, it was Bichetti to Conte. One touch, one touch. Vangioni with the one touch. And then second, bang. Let's go. 2-1 up. Love to see it. Leone's not playing very well. And Fernando's not playing the best either. It's interesting. Very interesting. Let's see if we can get this win. Let's give them some praise as well. Um, and then that's hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, if we do manage to win this, that is only 50% of the work done, right? Are we going to score again? Are we going to score again? Oh, my God. Conte's won the header again, and Leone's volleyed it in. 20th goal of the season for Leone as well. So, basically, that's Vangione with 21 goals now, Fernando with over 20 goals, and also... Leone with over 20 goals, which is absolutely unbelievable. Two, pl Three players over 20 goals, and Conte from midfield chipping in as well. Bichetti needs to get better at goal involvements, but what a what a performance this has been. 1-0 down in the first eight minutes. I'm thinking, oh my God, not again. But this is the second time in about a week that we beat Inter Milan, if we can keep this up. What a performance, guys. And this will hopefully... Come on, come on, come on. That is our first Coppa Italia. That feels so, so good. We can tick that off on the bingo sheet as well. 50% of the work done. Let's have a look at the celebrations real quick then. <sighs> wow, there's a lot of beards, but I guess there is a lot of beards in Italy, isn't there? There we go. He's, he's handing the cup over to... Uh... Oh, is that Rocky? Am I Captain Rocky or is it Leone? I think it's Leone. That is... Absolutely unbelievable. That feels good. Livorno with the first Coppa Italia with full youth intake players. Oh, yes. Next up is the Serie A and the Champions League, right? But we wanted to win that. We did want to win that at one time in the save, just so we said we've won it, right? 
Very, very good. Really enjoyed that. Right. I'll get to you guys on the next game and let's see if we can get the Champions League. Straight after the Inter Milan game then and the Coppa Italia is in Livorno. We've got a message saying that we're iconic and we've built a Livorno legacy. So that means now, if you go to here, we are in the icons list and we've actually gone above Emilia and Nicola. So we're actually in the middle of that. So if we win Serie A, I would imagine we go to the Legends page or at the top of the icons and then the Champions League will take us into the legendary um, into the legendary category, which would be really, really good. I love the kits, by the way, that we made. Really enjoy them. I'm, I'm super enjoying this save, guys. I don't know if you noticed, but I really am. If you guys would like to hit the subscribe button as well, please, please do that. I will get back to you guys with the next match. Team talks are done. Team sheets are in, and we're playing away at Lecce. So AC Milan against Medina there as well. League table's there so you guys can see. Let's see what we've got. We've just won the Coppa Italia, obviously. So, yeah, these guys have got minus one goal difference. They're sort of right in the middle of the table every single season, Lecce. Um, why are my centre fielders not tighter than that? Tighter, tighter, tighter. Way tighter. Go on, Gondo. Chase that down. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Go on, Fernando. Go on, Fernando. When he gets the ball, man, everything lights up. Look at him. What a player. Royani to Leone. Yes! 1-0. Nine minutes in. I thought maybe we'd lose the ball going back there. Deep. That's fantastic. Obviously, we're going to keep it out for the AC Milan going 1-0 up as well, which is not good for us. <clears throat> We've obviously gone above Inter, though, because they're playing later on. Need to win. Need to win. Go on, Vangioni. Royani. Leone, Fernando. I don't know if he's onside, but if he is, what a finish that is. Left foot, first time, bang. He is. Yeah, there's some player, Fernando. Some player. He does have the trait as well, tries first time shots. It's really good against goalkeepers because goalkeepers can't set themselves. He sort of takes it before they even set. What a player. What a player. 2 0 up. AC Milan 3 0 up. <laughs> He's won it again. Leone. Hold him back. Bochetti's through. He's just not good enough, is it? He's just not good enough. We need a superstar at left wing and we could potentially win the Champions League. Don't know if Bochetti's going to be that guy, you know. Not sure. We shall see. <clears throat> this is definitely their highlight. That's a good finish. First goal of the season. Of course it is. A guy with seven finishing, ten composure. Oh, of course, it's his first goal of the season. Good finish, Parodi. Saved it for against us, right? Saved it against us. Come on, then. We've got a bit of possession back, though. It was really heavily in their favour at the start of this half. The AC Milan result is done. We're not going to finish above them um, today. Oh, there we go. Second goal of the season. Seferovic. But he's, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. 2 0 up. 2 0. 2 0 up. And now we're at 2 2. Okay. I didn't think this game was done when it was 2 0 up, to be honest. FM does like to throw a few curveballs in the mix. But here it is. 2 2. Let's go try and win the game. Still plenty of time. I do think, though, I do think that we would probably benefit. Let's see where this highlight goes first. Then we're just not tight enough. We're not, we're not. Fernando, well done. Oh, my God, that is so unlucky. That is so unlucky. <laughs> oh, Zen oh, it's Renai. It's Renai. Nice, let's go. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not really convinced of how we're playing here. To be fair, my right back Gondo is a yellow card and he's on a 6.3. So we're going to take him off. Um, 
Fonte is not playing great today either, so let's bring Fino on. I think that's right. Francesco. Still got it in him as Francesco. From all the way back in Serie C. Still got it in him. Modena got a goal back against AC Milan, but that's definitely, definitely not going to be a comeback happening there. Okay. There, 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 there. My right back has to be tighter. You have to go and try and win that ball because now they're, they've broken this press. And it's it's going to cause him to come out. and Oh, oh there. That's it. You know what? If the first player isn't tight enough, then the second and third can't be. And it's just a nightmare. No, oh, I don't like seeing that. Don't like seeing that. If one if one player goes and commits, then the rest have to go and commit with it. Um, but it looks like we might be getting the win. Not a good performance, though. Not a good performance at all. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say don't get complacent because I'm going to say... And then, obviously, if Fernando's looking a bit stressed, I'm going to say you did well. Yeah, that's the end of that. We are open to fourth right now, but Inter Milan potentially could win their game against Atlanta. We've won in the Nationale semi-final 5-1 against Napoli. My under-19s, under-18s, sorry, are absolutely killing it. It's really, really good. Leone, man of the match there. The last thing to do then is hit the continue button and let's see if Atalanta can get us a result. Come on, Atalanta. No, doesn't look like it. 3-0 down. Not a problem. It's just looking like we're not going to be in the Champions League next season at the moment unless a miracle happens in the next game. So, level on points with AC Milan. The reason why we're behind AC Milan is that we've drawn and lost against them this season. Not got good head-to-head. -head. So that is the situation with them. Inter Milan, last game of the season, play Lazio away from home. So we could. We could jump ahead of them. And we've got to be Juventus though. So I'm going to join you guys with the Juventus game in a second. Here we go then. Last game of the video. After this though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the season and we're going to have a look at the bingo sheet and see if we can tick off any more objectives. The more I've been thinking about potential Europa League as well, the more I've been thinking it might not be a bad thing because we can, we could go far in it. I think we've got the capabilities of getting to a semi-final, maybe a final. Even winning it, honestly, if we get the good draw, a decent draw, we play quite well. We're not going to win the Champions League yet. That's a couple of years away. But if we do well in the Europa League, it also boosts our reputation, right? So that could be a good thing. We also get um, our, our more experience to our players and stuff like that. But another thing as well is Italy could get the fifth spot this year. I'm not sure. I've not looked at it. We'll see. We might get surprised with potentially a, Europe, a Champions League spot. If we don't get it right now, we might do. Inter Milan could lose to Lazio right now or draw and we could, uh, we could win. I think we've got a better head-to-head um, with Inter Milan, so we would go above them and level on points, which is crazy because they've got 50 goal difference and AC Milan have only got 31, but they've got Udinese. They're not going to drop points at home to the team at the bottom of the league, so I don't think we're going to catch AC Milan, but Inter Milan's a possibility. If we don't, if we get fifth, like I said, no problem. Let's do this. And it's Juventus we're playing, so it's going to be really tough. It's, I know they're um, ninth in the league, but Lazio 1-0 up early. Three minutes in. Very, very good. Very, very, very good. So it doesn't put us above them, though. We've got to win. Right, Sardini. Sardini. I put Sardini back in this time instead of Zanotti. Zanotti didn't really impress me that much when he came in. Fernando dropping deep. Conte. Vangioni, please, mate. That's very unlucky. Deflection off the post, off the keeper and out. Dondo. Okay. Yeah, interesting. They've got a false nine as well. I don't know who that is, though, Souza. Oh, my God. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> As you'd expect, still a good team for Juventus. Do you know what I mean? It's Inter Milan 2 1 up now. AC Milan still 0 0, which is very interesting. I, it's a weird one because I think we've done quite well this year, but we're not going to finish as high as last year. Strange one. I think it's because other teams have been better this season. I, I think we've been better than last season, honestly. On Conte. Oh, that's poor from you, mate. It's poor from you. Usually very good at long shots. Six shots. AC Milan still nil nil. If they draw and we draw, I'm going to be so annoyed. Now, there it is. There it is. Okay, 3-1 into Milan. It looks like we're going to be finishing fifth this year, guys. Because even if we win, we're not going to finish above them. 
Uh, I'm just going to say... I'm not happy, because I'm not really. We need to win this game. It's important. My right back again, Gondo, has got a yellow card. I don't know what happened there. That's happened a few times lately. It happened on stream the other night as well. A highlight just started up and the ball was in the net. Obviously, it's offside, but... I'm not sure what, what that was, what that's about. Is that because the highlight carries on? No, I, I don't get that. Anyway, it doesn't matter, I guess, but... It's just started happening since the last update. Right. Bichetti. The Conte. The Fernando. The Gondo. To Vangione. Back to Gondo. Tries to go back to Vangione, but he's uh, messed that one up. Yeah, can we win the first header there? Can we win it? We can. Troiani. Troiani's quite big, actually, isn't he? I always forget how big he is. I think he's like 6'1", isn't he? He's massive. Rocky. Bichetti. Go on, mate. Get down that wing. Rocky. Bichetti again. I'm not sure why you're shooting, pal. I'm not 100% sure why you're shooting. I don't think he should be, should he? Um, shoot less often. Cross from the byline. Get that ball across the box, mate. You're there just for that. Hold the width. Get it across. Pogic. Ooh, cross back. We have been the better team. Corner coming in then. Just like to beat them now. Okay, I told you to cross it in. That was a bad cross. I like still carrying on though. It's not ending. They're going long. Can we win the header? Gondo's not going to win it. No, he's not big. Oh, okay. So they're going long then. Um, they went long to Hurtado there, didn't they? Five foot nine. Was it Hurtado they went to? I don't know. Guy looked tall though, whoever it was. Yeah, just got a strange feeling here, haven't we? Doesn't really matter, I guess, now the result with the other two results, but we've done really well in the first half, and then this half feels like the big team's going to score. Could be wrong. Just get that feeling. Yep, get that feeling. Tardo, Souza, there it is. 17 jumping reach. I did think he'd I did think they'd score. I just I just could feel it. I could feel it in my bones. It is what it is. We usually beat Juventus as well, so it's really frustrating. But yeah, I mean AC Milan are uh, are gonna win that game anyway. They're gonna get a second and a third, I'd imagine. So this one doesn't really matter for us, but we're losing anyway. Potentially 2-0 there. <laughs> They're just not created anything, have they? Uh I'm gonna push up a little bit as well. They're having too much possession, I feel. Another thing as well, actually. I'm going to try something a second. I'm going to try and put every single one of my players on tight marking. Well, midfielders. In fact, no, everybody. I'm not going to put centre-backs up there because they've got only got one striker, but... Also taking Gondo off. I mean, my players are tired, but we've not got anything on the bench. Uh, I could put Puche on the right wing. Put Gisti on the left wing. Maybe. Bino in midfield. We've not got much, to be honest, guys. <laughs> off the bench. See if we can get something. I'd be annoyed now if you'd Nazi score late. <laughs> I'd be annoyed. Come on, head this in. Head this in. How have, how have you missed that, Gisty? That was a free header from about three yards out, mate. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, not the greatest last two performances. Really good one against Inter Milan. Really good one. I thought maybe we'd, uh, we'd get top four after that one. Royani. Fino. Back to Toffanari. Uche, all the subs combining right now. Renai, back to Fino. What have you got for me, Francesco? I'm going to lose pass, not a fan. Back heel. Oh, I like that. Uche. Rocky. Gisti. Hit the post. Really good move. Haven't got it, have we? We haven't got that finishing us. Played him off the park, guys. 
Played them off the park. Lost 1-0. Is what it is. The performance was there, I guess. We should definitely have won that game. Um, unlucky. As it, as it happened, it didn't matter anyway if we'd have won 5-6-1. So, Champions League is not for us at the moment. It doesn't look like. We shall see. We might get a message saying we did get into the Champions League. If we do, I'll be back for it. Um, but after this, if you don't see anything from me, we'll be looking at the bingo sheet. Also as well, the third consecutive Campeonato Nationale Under-18s title. 8-0 in the final against Ancona there for the Under-18s. What a performance. Uh, Framura there with a hat-trick as well, which is fantastic. Tofanari, the other one. Um, yeah, Pirelli as well. Nice. Nice. Our under-18s now are full up with good potential players. So we're just waiting a couple of years now. Um, and we potentially could have some of these guys in the first team. Which would be absolutely amazing. So, like I said, I'll come back with you guys with potentially a Champions League finish. If not, and it's Europa, then I'll be back with a bingo sheet. Europa League it is for us next season. But it doesn't matter because our reputation has now gone up to four and a half stars, which is fantastic. Let's have a look at the bingo sheet then and see what we can tick off. The very first thing I can see is win a domestic cup. That's gone. Thank you very much. What else have we got? Reach the Champions League group stage. We definitely did that. Um, we could potentially win the Europa League this year. Youth player scores over 30 goals in a season. Well, Fernando actually scored 30 this season. So hopefully this season he can score because that says over 30. Hopefully he can score more than that. Youth players, league player of the season. No, we didn't get that. Unbeaten at home in the league. I don't think we got that. I'm pretty certain we didn't. Um, win the Coppa Italia. 100%. Get to the final of the Coppa Italia. 100%. Uh, what else have we got? We could potentially win the Europa League, yeah. Uh, Reach a conference, Europa conference. I don't think we're going to get the Europa conference ones. Play gets top score in the Europa conference. Play gets top score in the Europa League. Play gets top score in the Champions League. I don't think we got that either. Club reputation now reached four and a half stars. Definitely got that. Assist, youth play assists over 20 times. I think we got 20 this season with Conte, so I don't think we got that yet. Um, become a top 100 club in the world. We've got that. I think we're about... 40 something and uh, we've got top 50 as well we're not in the top 20 yet we've got 100 million in the bank as well really nice uh player wins golden shoe yes we're golden shoe and i know i just got the golden shoe just then it said this top maxman and all that which is really fantastic we've got state of the art youth facilities as well really really nice total career earnings we definitely haven't got that yet five million win a treble nope on the Hall of Fame, we've not got that yet. Player scores in the Euros. The Euros are happening right now. And unless Andrea Rocchi, my left back, scores in the Euros for Italy, we won't get that. He hasn't got a goal for Italy either, but he's got a cap for Italy. So we're going to get that ticked off as well. Ballon d'Or rests on Fernando's shoulders, I think. Don't think we've done 500 games yet. I think we're really, really close, though. Um, really close. Like this season, we should get that. But we are ticking these off, guys. Expand your stadium as well. We've just got that. We are now backing our own new stadium, which is 31,000 now. So that's good. Oh, also we got three players on the next gen list. I'm going to show you guys now the pop-up on the screen to prove that one. We didn't get a winner, though. Um, Fernando was second in that list, and we didn't get five players. We only got three, so we've not got that just yet. I um, don't think there's anything else, though. Treble's going to be really difficult. Considering less than 15 goals in a season is going to be difficult. Scoring 100 goals in a season is going to be difficult. <laughs> a few of these are going to be difficult. We're not going to get them all, but we're going to see how much we can get. But that, for now, is all the ones that we've got, which is really nice. If I've counted correctly, that's 67 out of 100 done. So we're two-thirds of the way there, guys. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Thank you for leaving your likes, your comments, and your subscriptions on the channel. That's amazing. And until next time, I'll catch you then. Goodbye.